Donna Ruka and you're on the list. Apparently, it doesn't take too much to own an average priced home in Phoenix if you don't have any other bills to pay. Brian McElhatton's got the studies that don't add up around Phoenix. The number one real estate reality check. Mortgage site HSH.com released a study that's making the rounds on social media. It shows the income a person would have to earn to move into a medium priced home in 25 cities. Here in Phoenix, they determined you'd have to make just over $32,000 to afford a $192,000 home. Problem is, you wouldn't be able to pay your utilities, you wouldn't be able to pay your taxes or anything else like that. You wouldn't even be able to stock your shelves with groceries. They took none of that into consideration. Sounds a little like the bill we were sold by the mortgage industry back in 2006. Say what? But number two. You know, I always kind of had an idea that I was good and like could go somewhere. And now Chandler's Lindsay Fry is going for gold in the Olympic women's hockey finals. Her Twitter feed is full of photos from Sochi as she gears up for the gold medal match against arch rival Canada tomorrow. Her family's there to cheer her on and she'll need it. Canada is one tough opponent, but Lindsay doesn't seem to be stressing. She's happy to be on a great team with support from all of us back home. This experience has just been so cool. See hard work really pay off. Yeah, number three. Improvement in depression thanks to, and get this, Special K. Not the cereal, the drug. Ketamine. You know it used to be a horse sedative, then a drug for ravers, and now a depression treatment. Depression is very common, about 10% of the population. Depression recovery centers in Scottsdale say they've treated 100 people successfully with low doses of ketamine through an IV. Just being able to do something that can change their lives is important to me. Now you're caught up, including around Phoenix, I'm Brian McElhatt.